kitty cats. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is well because I am well as well. And welcome back to our channel. Today we have a real quick little haul for you. Um, there's uh, some Wish and some Joom. And this is, I think, going to be one of the weirdest hauls that I've done. Um, if what I think is in these packages is in these packages, it's going to be some crazy stuff I ordered. So, this is actually the sixth day of Vlogmas. And so, I figured since I got a couple packages in, I'll do a quick haul for you. So, let's get started, okay? So the first thing I'm going to open is from Joom. I do believe this is from Joom. And it's kind of a... Weird shape. It's not what you're thinking, guys. Get your minds out of the gutter. Y'all have been watching Angel. Over at Love's Owls and Unicorns. This is not what you think it is. So, you dirty birdies. Okay. This is what I thought it was. Um, Alright, so I have this little history with, with Bonnie from Bonnie Life. And she and I both ordered the uh, little bathroom uh, wall decal sign. And she, I think, gave hers away in a giveaway. And she also got um, a sign that said, if you dribble when you piddle, something about wipe, wipe the seat or something like that. And uh, she kind of was like, what has my life become? And I don't know why I ordered these. Well, I ordered the bathroom sign probably at the same time she did. And um, I actually use mine. It's up on the bathroom door. Um, I never bought the uh, dribble if you piddle sign. So, but again... As Bonnie said to me, which one of us is the crazier one? Because I'm actually using the bathroom sign. I don't know. But then I saw this. So this may actually one-up me on Miss Bonnie for the craziest little bathroom wall decals. Okay. Like, how silly is that? It's a cat sitting on the potty, reading a book with the toilet paper there, and it says, shh, I'm trying to take a poop. <laughs> oh my heavens. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, Bonnie? Have I won? Have I won that round for the craziest bathroom stickers, wall decals? Ay ay ay. Okay, so I'm actually going to use this. Yeah, I actually ordered this on purpose to use it. Yeah, I did. I know, crazy. All right, so I'm going to open this one next. This one actually does feel like a little box in there. It feels like jewelry. Um, so this might be, guys, this might be the only sane item I purchased this go-around. Okay, and it is jewelry. Um, it's not what I thought it was. It came in the, the little box, like, they send the rings sometimes, um, but it's not ring. It's 
It's not a ring. And I can't get this little box open tonight. What is wrong with me? There we go. Okay. It actually is earrings. And yes, this is probably the most sane thing I purchased this time around. Okay, these are just sterling silver hoops. And they are very pretty. It's got kind of a lattice design. Um, and one is textured like a rope and the other one is just polished. So they guys are very, very pretty. I like them. Like them a lot. Yes, sir. I like them. And I have on the ones that we hauled the other day. I don't know if she can really see them that well, but these are the the uh, demi hoops with the little turquoise at the uh, bead at the bottom. Really cute, really comfortable, very light. Um, I love them. All right, well, we have three more things, guys. So let's go and see what this one may be. It's flat like a wall sticker, but I don't think it's a wall sticker. Oh, it's not a wall sticker. What could it be now? It is a template for doing henna. It's like a, a stencil for henna. Um, I did order uh, a henna cone that I just kind of want to try. Um, yeah. Uh, this will just give me a base to start and then I can add, add to it. Um, I've never done henna before, so that's why I kind of got the stencil to sort of get the feel of it um, as I go along. Um, one of my best friends, uh, used to go, uh, to Morocco, um, a lot, and she actually met her husband, um, in Morocco, and he, they married and he came over here, um, and whenever she'd go to Morocco, um, someone in his family would, would do henna for her. And I always thought it was so pretty, really, really pretty. Um, so I'm going to try it. We'll see. The henna cone has not come yet. Um, but we'll see. We'll try it. All right. So which one next, guys? The kind of fat, chunky one? Or the other real tiny slim one. Hmm. Let's go with the slim one. All right. Let's cut into this bad boy. And see what we got. Oh. Guys. Honestly, I, I, I need a hobby or a job or something. Um, I need to get out of this house because I'm sitting here ordering the craziest crap on Wish and Jim. Just the craziest stuff, guys. I'm ordering the craziest flipping stuff. What am I doing? Like Bonnie says, 
What has my life become? I don't know. I need to get out of the house. This is probably the craziest, wackiest, weirdest thing I've ever ordered. Ever. Oh. Uh. Yes. What is it? Well, I will tell you what it is. I'm almost, I'm almost, I'm almost embarrassed to show you guys because it's just so stupid. Okay. All right, let me show it to you and then I'll tell you what actually happened. All right, so this is a nylon sleeve that you wear on your arm and it looks like a tattooed sleeve. Like it makes your arm look tattooed. Guys. And I can't, I can't, I probably can't fit it all the way up where it's supposed to be because I have long sleeves on, but guys, really? And of course your bracelet's supposed to be on the outside. <laughs> but Yeah, guys. Um, yeah. Feels nice. Um, I have way too much time on my hands, guys. Um, okay, so what happened was... I... had received some wish cash um, from some refunds. Um, and so there was about, there was about $15 of wish cash sitting in there. And so one night, very late, which was probably like two, three o'clock in the morning, um, I was going through wish and I knew I had this wish cash, and I thought to myself, what would be the most ridiculous, ridiculous thing I can buy from Wish using my wish cash that I wouldn't normally buy, like I wouldn't normally pay for, you know, pay for something, but... You know, with Wish Cash, I just kind of, you know, like the money's already been spent. The money was spent for something else that I didn't receive. Um, so, in my mind, it's out of my, you know, it's gone. It's already been spent. So, it's not like I'm spending more to get something ridiculous. And I would never, 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 never order order something like this and actually pay cash for it. Um, so this is what I got uh, at 3 o'clock in the morning with my wish cash that I thought, what is the most ridiculous thing I can purchase? Well, there you go. There you go. I have, ladies and gentlemen, officially lost my mind. Officially. Completely lost my mind. I have lost my mind. Uh, I'm going to make Tony put it on and see what it looks like on him. On him. I don't know, guys. All right, one more thing, and this thing feels kind of hard and chunky. It almost feels like styrofoam balls, but why would I buy styrofoam balls? I didn't buy styrofoam balls. 
but I'm going to try to open this kind of gingerly because I don't know where the thing starts and where the thing stops. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm just going to rip it. Oh. Okay, there we go. That wasn't so hard. All right, guys. Um, I ordered, apparently, a dead plant. Yep. And they sent me two. One big one and one small one. Okay, 10 points if anybody knows what these are. Do you know? I'm going to tell you. So I did purchase these uh, on purpose. And this is called the Resurrection Plant. And if you've never actually seen uh, a Resurrection Plant or... Um, have heard of the resurrection plan uh it's also called the rose of jericho um it comes like this all sort of closed up and and uh and dead um and then you put it in water and it actually blooms and comes back to life it regenerates which is why they call it the resurrection plant um, and I know there's a lot of like Wiccans and, and magical uh, properties that go along with the resurrection plant um, again I'm not Wiccan um, I'm Catholic, but I think they're really pretty. So, and they will, once they bloom, um, as long as you change the water regularly, they will stay very pretty. Um, you want to change the water, though, because you don't want them to rot, and you don't want to sit them in a ton of water. Just enough to get them to regenerate. Um, so, I got some. But the coolest thing about the um, resurrection plant is when you do finally take it out of the water... It will close back up and dry out again. And the next time you want it to bloom, all you have to do is put it back in some water um, and it'll bloom again. Uh, it's really, really a very cool little plant. Um, and I'm anxious to to see um, how it blooms and then how it closes back up again. Um, they say that you should put it in distilled water um, and not directly from the tap. So, uh, you know, if you don't have distilled water, you can take some water out of the faucet and just leave it sit um, like in a glass for a day or so and all of the chemical properties should evaporate out of the water and it should be um, better to use for your your resurrection plant so kind of excited about that so we shall see Oh, what's going on over here? I got some stuff going on. Just a mess. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm a mess. I'm a messy girl, and I'm falling apart as we speak. Okay, guys. Um, so that's about it. Oh, I did want to tell you, though, before we leave, I'm sure you've noticed that the backdrop is gone. Well, um, I took it down because, quite frankly, I was tired of messing with it. It was at a height um, that, in order to get the camera just right, so that the backdrop was in frame and you weren't seeing any any walls or anything, I had to mess with the camera. I had to be like really close, um, film really close, so you know you. It was, it was a mess, right? So I figured white wall was better than fooling around with that thing anymore. It's beautiful fabric. It really is. And it made a beautiful backdrop, but it was more hassle than I wanted to do. Like when I want to make a video, I just want to set the camera where I, you know, know that I'm in frame and and shoot the video right but i do have plans for this white wall behind me so we'll see how quickly uh that comes i ordered it about the same time i ordered um some of this stuff too and i did use some wish cash for that as well um so hopefully it'll come soon and I can get it up on the wall and it'll look nice and we'll show you in a future video as soon as it comes what we're going to do with the backdrop. Okay, guys. So that's about it. I'm going to say good night and take care. Okay, guys. So. I love you, I love you all, and I will see you tomorrow, okay? Bye.